we cannot make a video on monkey pox because now it is called m pox to be nicer to the monkeys let's forget it let's not dwell too much on it india shouldn't have much to worry about let's see how and why m pox is of two types type 1 and type 2 they are so separate as if there are two different viruses type 1 is serious happens in central african congo basin type 2 is less serious rest of africa in 2022 the health emergency that was declared that was mostly type 2 i had predicted that it will mostly be restricted to gay homosexual men and it fizzled out with some vaccination now they are seeing some concerning changes in type 1 virus like what happened with delta and original covid delta was both more infectious and more serious so they are seeing cases of type 1 that is more serious the mortality is much higher than 0.3% that we see with uh, type 2 and they are seeing ca- unusual cases they are seeing cases in kids under 15 so if you are seeing previously we said it spread monkey pox only spread by close contact which is a buzzword for sex you had sex with somebody you can spread it regular casual contact shouldn't spread it now if you are seeing the cases in kids then it's tricky because then it's also spreading by household contact so if that comes to india it could be in trouble i talked to a friend of mine who comes from central africa and he said no no in central africa the kids are very close together in poverty and that's why even a casual household contact by sharing clothes can lead to disease i said well you know in india even some rich people stay very close together so that could be i think there is a separate explanation and we should be okay so how will the virus spread from a person to person that's how pandemic happens right so i don't think it will spread respiratory wise so we won't require any mass there are some reports but there are always some reports in 2022 313 us doctors were studied who were taking care of mpox patients and they cared for them without wearing a mask even doing procedures and there was not a single case of transmission between a patient and a doctor if you look at the household contact there was a study in spain where they looked at 180 patient and the chance was only about 3% of a close household contact developing contracting monkey pox in some other study series it was about 9% the numbers might be little skewed in india where like lot of people crowd together so can it spread by sex of course it will so there are two ways it can spread in india if at all the type one the dangerous type one is the homosexual men the gay men some of them are bisexual so they also have sex with women so if they go to a sex worker and the disease spreads in sex worker then heterosexually it will spread that is one possibility and second possibility is if it somehow comes in poverty slum kids and it starts spreading by household contacts then it can spread everywhere that's concerning but it shouldn't be that concerning and the reason is the major problem with covid why it became pandemic was a person 48 hours prior to developing symptoms was able to infect others and he was he or she was not feeling sick at all here with mpox we feel mostly that the patient will not start spreading unless the patient becomes symptomatic and the symptoms are pretty serious like high fever headache and you start developing the characteristic rash and then it goes away overall in like about 2 to 4 weeks there's a small study from netherland that are only five patient i don't know somehow they concluded that some patients can also spread prior to become symptomatic but i don't think that will be true patient will spread only after they are symptomatic so let's look at how india is protected let's take a look at three population the young people old people and older people and uh, the children I think first of all a vaccine is available but it is not needed mass vaccination is not needed because of deforestation we are going to see a lot of zoonotic diseases 
and if we start vaccinating ourselves for each tiny virus that comes through we'll have less body and more vaccine so we can do that no mass vaccination is needed nobody's going to take that we can do targeted vaccination if needed the older population of india i think is already protected because india was vaccinating against smallpox up to 1980 my theory is the people who are born on or before 1st january 1979 that means the people who are more than 45 year old currently should have good protection against serious disease from mpox because of smallpox vaccination there are some studies that show that the smallpox vaccine might robustly protect only in 18% cases i don't think that will be true i think the protection will be good then the kids the kids as i said in poverty and slum it could be higher my theory is and i think i will be right that we are seeing it only in congo and we are not seeing it anywhere else so in congo people are not the kids are not catching it because of poverty they are catching it from a different reason the disease comes from animals in the jungle and it species jumps into humans and then it spreads human to human i think and i will be right mostly that the disease in congo kids may be part of it is coming from the animals and not human to human so household contact will not be that important in india so to be brutally honest i think in india people over the age of 45 will be okay mostly young people have to be careful no unprotected sex no multiple partners and if you are gay men you can consider taking the vaccine that we will talk about later in terms of kids i hate to say it but in my mind the kids who are rich upper middle class middle middle class should be fine there should be no problem we'll have to think a little bit about the lower middle class or poor class kids and what to do about that regarding vaccination mass vaccination is not needed one vaccine is already available it costs about 25000 indian rupees is taken in two doses not currently available in india is not needed if some gay men who are also bisexual want to quietly and secretly consider it something can be done about it but nothing otherwise is needed a treatment already exists there are three different medications one is called tecovirimab it was studied for smallpox cross sectional studies show under investigation protocol that the drug will work it is already available in india it appears to be safe and well tolerated but there is no need to stockpile or store it indian government is taking some precaution this precaution is like they are just passing their responsibility to you I, what, what do you mean by precautions i think we should go into like you know targeting monkeys or targeting gay population or targeting people from africa or travel bans or something nothing like that if at all government wants to do something they can stockpile tecovirimab and keep stockpiles ready they can quietly offer vaccination only to the homosexual population secretly and not securely and confidentially protecting the uh, medical rights and that's all they need to do currently we don't have to worry about it much i don't think it will become a pandemic because we are already aware of it seniors in india are already protected upper class kids are i think are already protected young people know what precaution to take a vaccine is already available that we don't need to take a medication that is already available and we don't need to stockpile that so in other words i think india is going to be okay from this mpox thing dr ravi godse